Today is the day that Newport County start their League 2 season away at Scumthorpe. What do I think? How do I think the game's going to go? Do I think we'll start the league off with three points? You'll see in this video. Please enjoy the match day vlog and um, yeah, just enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow the socials, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all in the description. Enjoy this match day vlog, guys. Up. <laughs> Welcome back to this match day vlog. It is about 12 o'clock and uh, I'm just going to give my early match predictions. Obviously, you will see me throughout the day reacting to the game. Um, I'm going to go with a Newport County 1-0 win and I'm going to say Tristan Abrams is going to get it and we're going to win 1-0 away at Scunthorpe. Um, I'll try and get people on uh, to see if they want to send me their predictions. If they can't, then that's fine. Um, then it'll just be me. You'll just see me for the match day vlog. But um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. First match day vlog of the season. Let's hope we can get it off to three points. I'm not gonna do live streams anymore. I'm just gonna do match day vlogs. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Please enjoy and up the carry. One nil carry. Right, guys, the lineups are in. I believe we're going with a four three three with Townsend, uh, Haynes, Hawkins, Demetrio, Shepherd. Dolan, uh, Dolan Labadee, Sheehan, Twine, Abrahams, and Ryan Taylor. Now, am I happy with the lineup? First of all, yes, I'm delighted with the lineup. Uh, Tristan Abrahams is in good scoring form, scoring two against Swansea last week. Um, I think he could bag a goal today. I, I generally think he will score the goal for us today, and he could be the vocal point for most of our um, season this year in terms of scoring and stuff like that. Um, I'm delighted looking forward to this game, uh, the start of the League 2 season, I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, when this goes out whether you was happy with the starting lineup. Obviously this will go out after the game. Was you happy with the starting lineup? Uh, Aaron dropped again, uh, not dropped but put to the bench, I think he's a better impact player now. Um, Jana is also on the bench as well, the likes of Cooper and Wilmot, Tom King. Um, I can't remember the whole bench. I, I think I've pretty much said all of it. But anyway, um, I really am happy with the team we've gone out with today. And um, I generally think that, that the team we've gone out with today should be enough to beat Scumthorpe. No disrespect to any Scumthorpe fans, but I think we should have the better um, of you personally. But anyway, let's get into um, you know the game. Uh, hopefully the game lives up to the... Um, to the billing and you'll see me uh reacting to things as they happen during the game come on katie let's do it guys it's about 25 minutes into the game and we are looking like the better team a little bit we're having a little bit more of the ball um we're controlling it in certain parts of the game we haven't scored yet and neither of um a scum thought it's looking like a tight game i did say it was gonna be one nil and i am sticking with that one nil newport katie win um i think this it's going to be a very tough game for us to get three points in. But you'll see me um, in the next in the next clip, sorry, if anything happens. But as as it stands, sorry, it's uh, Scumthorpe nil, Newport Katie nil. Hope you enjoy the rest of the one match. 1-0 up. Goal from Ryan Taylor. I didn't think it was going to be Ryan Taylor who gets the goal for Newport. But Newport Katie leave 1-0 away at Scumthorpe. Can we continue the good run of form? Um, take out the, the Leeson.com game against Cheltenham. Beat Swansea last week. Can we beat another team beginning with S? Um, Swansea, uh, Scumthorpe, you know, I don't even know what I'm saying. We need 1-0 and this could be absolutely sensational for us. Can we really push for the playoffs this season? Ryan Taylor, 1-0 Newport, 32 minutes in. Come on, Katie. Right, guys, it is halftime at uh, Glanford Park. Scumthorpe, nil, Newport County, 1. As things stand, my prediction is getting 100% correct. I did put Newport to win 1-0. I did say Tristan Abrahams would score the goal. However, Ryan Taylor put us 1-0 in front inside 32 minutes. So, good start up, uh, from the first half, I think. Like I said, we controlled the ball. We looked like we can pass the ball around, play the ball um, into dangerous areas, which are going to hurt teams in this league. And the signings we made are looking good. Liam Shepard is quality at the back. Well, right, right back. Uh, Ryan Taylor, obviously, getting a goal. 
on uh, on his league debut, which is also brilliant. Hopefully, we can see the likes of Psycho Janna in the second half. That will be brilliant. I don't think we'll see Brandon Cooper um, as he's a centre-back. I don't think we'll see him today. Um, I think the three substitutes we'll make are Robbie Wilmot, Psycho Janna and uh, Podrick Amond. Um, whether they are the three, I'm not too sure. Obviously, they're my uh, predicted three uh, substitutes. But, guys, we'll get back to you uh, in the second half. Hopefully, more goals. Um, obviously, I'm hoping you're enjoying this match day vlog. I'm going to be doing this more often um, rather than the live streams. I do prefer doing these match day vlogs for you instead. So, uh, let's go in the second half, boys. Up the county. Let's get these three points. Come on, the poor. Scum football level. Um, 57. Is it 57 minutes? Something like that. Um, 57, 58 minutes. So annoyed. Um, edge of the box. Ryan Loft. And scum thought, well, a level. Uh, pardon me. Like I said, you know, they start growing into the game. Abo Isha has had two shots there or two attempts. They've, they've not materialised into anything. And, and 58 minutes on the clock and Ryan Loft equalises for Scunthorpe. Uh, I do still think we can win the game. Like I said, I, I seem a bit deflated and a bit annoyed because, you know, we, we have to well in this game to, to maintain a 1-0 lead. And it's just... Potentially just all gone all gone to pot again. We beat Swansea last week, then we lost in the cup. I don't want to bottle it here. Like I said, the two games against Scunthorpe last season, we both won. Uh, well, we won the both, sorry. Uh, home and away. Um, oh, I'm, uh, Brandon Cooper's on for Matt Dolan. Um, that happened basically on the stroke of half time. Uh, maybe I'd like to see... Um, Amon to come on, or maybe Psycho Janna, but a little bit something extra up front, maybe take Ryan Taylor off, but Ryan Loft has equalised for Scumthorpe, and it's Scumthorpe 1, Newport 1, unfortunately, Swansea winning as well, but Cardiff are losing, so that's the main thing, Harrogate also winning 3-0 away at Stevenage, which is which is unbelievable, but but yeah, it's 1-1 at Glanford Park, come on Katie. To keep you guys up to date, Psycho Janna is now coming on for Ryan Taylor. So potentially a bit more pace up front. Could that be the key to get us the second goal? I hope so. But just a quick update. Psycho Janna on, Ryan Taylor off. Wilmot Come on, is Kate. now on for, um, for Scott Twine. So hopefully, I couldn't see who it was coming off. But Scott Twine is coming off. He's had a good game, Scott Twine. Uh, he's coming off for Robbie Wilmot. A few minutes to go of added time. Can we snatch um, a late win, which be which would be fantastic? Uh, I'll be bouncing around my room or around the room if uh, if we're to score a very late goal. Come on, Kane! Oh, at Glanford it. Park, it's finished. Scunthorpe United one, Newport County one. We took the lead through Ryan Taylor, uh, his League Two debut for us, and then uh, 58 minutes we we got pegged back by Ryan Loft. Um, it was a decent goal, but uh, like I said, it was a bad one to concede really. Uh, I thought we played well in large parts of the game. There wasn't, you know, parts of the game where I thought, you know, we were absolutely shocking. We played quite well throughout the whole game. Um, yes, I'm annoyed because we took the lead and and we dropped. Technically, we dropped two points um, in that game, but it's a, it's a solid first start. We got Cambridge um, coming up now um, in well in the cup. On in the week that should be a winnable game, I would say. But they've won and they've won and uh, won three 0 against Carlisle today, which I didn't expect them to do. Um, what did I think of the game? I think we played very well. I think Scott Twine had a good game. Um, I think the whole team played well. Um, there was certain parts of the game where I was literally just shouting, saying "Get forward!" We there was different parts of the game where I felt you know we it could have gone a bit better. Um, I'm I'm not annoyed. Um, to to a sense, it's just gutting really that we had the three points and then we got pegged back to only get a point. But we move on. Uh, please make sure to like the video, comment below as well what you think the thoughts of the game. Um, if I do manage to get some Newport County fans, that will uh, be in this match day vlog. If not, um, then I'll just end it here. So make sure you follow all the socials: TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And like and comment on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We are on the road to 600 subscribers. Thank you everyone for watching this match day vlog and up the county. Gutted we can't take three points, but a point is not a point is better than none. Up the county, up the port, county till I die. Come on, boys.
Hi, yeah, it's Luke here. Yeah, um, give my post-match verdict on the uh, county drawing one over Scunthorpe away on our opening game of the season. Uh, a lot of positives because we usually struggle with our opening match. Um, I think we had about four guilt edge chances to put that game to bed, really, which we didn't take. And they scored, uh, you know, a thirty yard, which I think Tom King could have even couldn't even got to if he was in that instead of Townsend. A lot of positives going forward. Um, my only concern is with central midfield, that if Sheehan, Bennett, or Labadee, or a combination of the two or the three are injured, that I think we might struggle against other teams. But uh, one one all draw away opening game of the season. A lot of positives going forward. So. Yeah, looking forward to the season and up the county. Well, then, so let's wrap up that performance today. It's not too bad, a one-all draw first half, some really good signs, really good use of width, really good use of the pitch. So Abrams was really good. Um, Ryan Taylor just seemed to cause a bit of trouble up top. Not too bad, quite impressed with him. Um, Shepard, really impressed with him. His ball's taking the wing, his movement, his attacking prowess as well, fantastic. Second half... I don't know what happened, we just kind of fell asleep. I don't know if we came in a little bit slow at the blocks. Um, our goal took us by surprise, it's a hell of a strike. Uh, nothing Townsend could do. Uh, saying that, though Townsend did, there's a few times where we committed players forward and Townsend kept us in the game. Um, they were very good on the counter attack, I thought. Uh, not too bad, I mean, it was a bit bitty at the end, you could see players a bit unfit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. A one all draw away from home. Especially with current circumstances as well. And we, we did play some good football. I think we just stretched ourselves a little bit too much coming towards the second half. But it's positive signs so looking forward. Really impressive Brandon Cooper. He slotted in. He's, he's looking very effective for his position. He's an aggressive player as well. But he knows tactfully where to do it and, and when to do it. Sheehan, not too bad. Not, not, not a bad game. One or two um, passes. The, the one pass across the midfield that could have caught us out. Um, apart from that, really, um, not a bad performance. I say it's quite simple. Tristan Abrams, me, man of the match. If he can stay consistent at holding the ball up and using his strength, then I think we've got a good season ahead with him. But it all comes down to him, though, and his consistency. So that's it from me.